Hi there, everybody. Um, hope you can all uh, hear me and see me. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late as I went to start this live video. Um, yeah, so I went to start this live video and uh, the system went down for a second. So I apologize for uh, being coming on a couple minutes late. I was here and ready to go, but uh, yeah, so I apologize for that. Anyways, my name is uh, Georgia French. And I am one of the uh, fitness and sports instructors here at CFB Moose Jaw, home of the Snowbirds and Canadian Forces pilot training. I hope you guys are all doing great today. Uh, for today's class, we're going to be doing a power class. Uh, so what equipment you're going to need, uh, you can use like an aerobic step, uh, a BOSU ball, maybe a barrack box, even a Rubbermaid bin like stuffed with things so it's nice and solid for you to stand on, uh, or a textbook, just something the, even to cue you to be able to do the exercises, okay? So that's really important. Um, you're also going to need a set of one or two sets of dumbbells. I would go a heavier set and a lighter set. Or if you just have one set, that's totally cool. I don't mind. Just I know that some people like to switch things up uh, for different exercises depending on what it is, okay? Um, you, I would recommend a water bottle as well. Um, and maybe a sweat towel. Uh, grab some music. I'm not going to turn any tunes on, so please to find the music of your choice and, uh, and put it on for yourself, hopefully something that pumps you up, because uh, we are going to be doing, a, like I said, it's a power class. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing um, uh, power using plyometrics on that bench, and then we're going to be doing some upper body strength on the rest periods, okay? So that's how it's going to work today. Um, and what? why are we going to work on power? Well, I think... It, it, it's so good at, uh, you know, it helps increase your ability for strength and speed when you're doing other uh, for athletic performance uh, or just when you're, it, it also changes up your workout routine so you don't just get in the mundane like, yeah, I'm going to come here and pick up a weight, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So it just, it shocks your body a little bit and uh, by doing something a little bit different, okay. Um, plyometrics is a great way to do power training because it builds speed power uh, and strength, okay? So that's, you know, that gives that explosive jump when you're doing something, right? And then I find that it also makes you better able when you're doing your other activities. I know, like I've said to you guys before, for someone like me, when I'm doing ultras or anything like that, or trail running, that to be able to skedaddle up over rocks and things like that, to have that extra strength in my legs, um, I find that plyometrics power, building power really, really uh, assists with that, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do right now, I have to take a second and I have to read the disclaimer that is attached uh, to this file anyways, but I still have to read it for you today, okay? So in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make an informed decision, on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provided, consult that Get Active questionnaire of the, from the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document by clicking on the link, okay? Um, by continuing with this class, you understand that there's a possible, uh, sorry, a possibility of physical injury and you agree to do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this fitness class. Okay, so I think, uh, like I said, you just need that step. You need some water. You need some dumbbells, and then uh, and then we're uh, then we're good to go. Okay, um, I'm going to explain the exercises as we get to them, just as I always do, because that's how I like to do things. Um, just keep you on those two exercises that's going on. How it's going to work is we're going to be doing intervals of. 60 seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, and 15 seconds of each of the groupings of exercises, okay? So that's how it's going to be. I'd like, you know, and at the end of that, you'll get a rest, and I'll explain the next one, and then we'll go on to it, okay? So I would like if, you know, during it, if you can take as little rest as possible during those exercises so that you um, are getting your heart rate up and getting the most out of the workout, okay? That being said, if you do need to stop and rest because you are really out of breath or something, please do so. Um, I will also provide modifications just like I always do, okay? Okay, I'm going to uh, warm us up, and then, uh, and then we're going to get going with this, okay? Excellent. Okay, if I stand up <laughs> first thing in the morning. Okay, let's start marching on the spot. Okay, just as we always do. Get, 
Get ourselves moving. Awesome. So like I said, if you want two sets of dumbbells today, because different exercises, that's great, right? Or that's okay to do that. Just like if you're doing weights, you're always, you're not always using the same thing in the weight room, right? Okay, higher knees. Perfect, get those arms going. Perfect. Okay, pushing up. With those arms, you can't see my arms, not that you necessarily need to see them. Out to the side, back and forth. Okay, some forward arm circles. Now some backwards arm circles. Okay, let's break it into a jog. Break it into a jog. Good. Remember to put your smile on your face. Enjoy that you're taking that time to pay yourself with some exercise here today. Taking that time for you to get stronger and fitter. So important. There's no excuse not to. But you already know that because you're here. Good. Let's do some jumping jacks. Good. If you need to modify this, right, you're here. Good. Now, stepping up onto our step. Let's do a couple on each side. So no matter what you have, like if it's a barrack box, you can even use just a, a, a step, like for your staircase for some of these exercises. And then for some of them, you just use a cue on the floor, okay? So there's no excuse not to do this class, even if you don't have something you can use. But I said even a textbook works really well, just as a cue, and it offers that little bit of difference of, of height, so you're challenging your body in a different way. Good, marching it out. Good, marching it out, I'm coming around. Okay, let's see some squats. Get those legs fired up, weight in the heels. Good, okay, turning to the side. Couple of lunges, don't let that knee go over the toe. Right, all the weight through the heel of that front foot. Switching around, other side. Good. Okay, standing tall. Let's do a couple of laterals to each side. Really get those legs ready to go, fired up for this workout because they will be challenged today. I promise you, I promise you, they will be challenged. Anytime you throw some difference in height in there when you're doing some exercise, especially plyo, it challenges them. Okay, standing tall. Okay, you're standing tall up. You're gonna walk out, just like we always do. Down to the ground, let go. Coming up, standing tall. Walking out to the floor, hand release. Just war warming up that shoulder. Good. One more of those with a smile. And release. Good. Awesome. Okay, and march it out. Okay. So, are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. What do you think? I definitely think so. So, first exercise, like I said, I'm going to explain each grouping as we do it. And then I've got my timer that will take us through it, okay? So they're gonna be 60 seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, each one of these, okay? Um, so the first one's gonna seem longer, but then just tell yourself, well, it's gonna get easier as we go because the time is getting shorter. So our first two exercises, because it's quick on the change, okay? So we just have time to get put the weights down and get ready. First two exercises, you're doing a lateral over the step. Okay, so you're here or over your BOSU or over your textbook, one foot up, all the power's coming from there, pushing up, and over, I'm exploding, I'm pushing up with that upper leg, okay? If you need to modify this, you can still come up, push up with your toe, you push up with your toe. But what I want you to try to do is really push up so you're exploding over that every time, okay? That's exercise one. Exercise two, you're gonna grab your dumbbells. You're gonna be lying on your back, feet on the floor. Okay, if you have a step or anything, you can lie on that. If, if not, you can lie on the floor. We're doing chest press. 
Okay, we're gonna be doing a chest press for that second one. Make sense to everybody? So we're gonna be doing 60 seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay, are you ready? If you see me stop, it's because I'm watching the timer, not because uh, I just wanna stop and watch you. <laughs> I, I wish I could though, I wish you were here so I could actually yell at you and do that. So, okay, so here we go. Starting with laterals over the thing, over the step in three, two, one, let's go. So we're going laterals over. One minute. Okay, using those arms to drive. Push up with that leg, push up, building power. I always like to think when I'm doing these, when I'm pushing up off of a rock, when I'm out running on a trail, right? If you're a hockey player, you're pushing for that stride when you're skating. Let's go. Nice. We have under 30 seconds to go. Keep going, keep pushing. It's not just a tap like you're here, all right? You're exploding up. I see people doing that all the time in class. But they just start tapping, pushing up. So no matter what you're using, it's a textbook, you can still push up. Three, two, one. Okay, resting it out. Getting those weights. Get a line your back. Chest press, go. Exhale. Every time I come up, big breath. Okay, coming down, just next to your chest. If you're lying on the floor, your limiting factor obviously is gonna be when the back of your arms touches the ground. Try to push that low back down if you can. Nice and controlled. Exhale every time. Take your time with this. Don't rush through it so you feel like you're getting a workout all the way up, all the way down, okay? Pushing up. Helps build strength so when you do those push-ups, you'll be that much stronger for them, right? That's right. Pushing up, nice. Exhale every time. Slow and controlled. Does a minute feel long? Lots of people don't do things for a minute with their strength. Good. Keep it up. Two, one, rest it out. Weights are down. Getting ready. Going back into those laterals. In three, two, one, go. So 45 seconds. Pushing up and over. Pushing up and over. Good. Use the arms. Use that upper leg to power you up and over. Nice. Nice. Good. Power. Tighten my core always though, right? Always tighten my core. Good. Over halfway. Nice. Keep it up. Pushing it through. You are strong. You can do this. You have 10 seconds left. Go, go. Great way to build power and strength for your sports. Two, one, rest it out. Okay, getting that set of dumbbells again. No time to rest. Getting ready, three seconds. Go, 45 seconds. Slow and controlled. Doing that chest press. Okay, slow on the way down too. Don't just let the weights fall down. Control it. Work those muscles throughout its whole range. Okay, I know you can do it. If you get tired, you can put one weight down and just hold one weight with two hands as well and keep pushing up. Excellent. Exhale every time you push up. Slow and controlled. Work those chest muscles, engage the triceps a bit. Core is tight and engaged as you try to push that low back down. Nice. Two, one. Nice. Rest it. Not really rest it, just get organized. 30 seconds, back to those laterals. 30 seconds. Two, one, go. Up and over, up and over. Get that power. Nice. Good. Feeling yourself getting stronger. It's only 30 seconds this time, so that's not too bad. Intervals are getting shorter. That's better for the mental psyche than if I tell you each one's going 
longer. 10 seconds left. Push up and over, up and over. Let's do it. Two, one. Getting those dumbbells. Back at it, back at it. Lying on our back. 30 seconds of chest press. Here we go. Two, one, go. Exhale every time. Exhale every time. Slow and controlled. Wonder how many of you out there have been able to buy some more fitness equipment because I heard that everywhere online is sold out. Wait lists for everything. Hopefully all the gyms are gonna be opening up soon everywhere so everyone can utilize them again too. Two, one, rest it out. Last set, last set. Not used to doing four sets. Four is fun, 15 seconds only. Two, one, go. Up and over, see it's only 15 seconds. So really push yourself, really push yourself. Come on, come on. Yeah. Nice, keep smiling. We only have five seconds left here. Two. Rest it. Last set of these chest press. Last set, only 15 seconds on the clock for this, you guys. Here we go. Two. Go. Slow and controlled. Just because it's 15 seconds only, don't try to rush. Focus on your form. First move well, then move off. And two. One, rest it out. Nicely done. Good. Get some water, okay? Get a sip of water. Then I'm gonna explain the next one. Then we're gonna go on to it. So we're on our rest period here. So next exercise, <laughs> you're gonna do step ups, jump ups. You could call it a box jump, but it's not really high unless you're using something higher. You're gonna do step up, like quiet, okay? Fast, up and down. If you can't do that because of an injury, you step up. Say do three on each leg, leading, okay? So, so that's exercise one. Exercise two, you're here, just standing, okay? Curl to a press and down, okay? Curl to a press. So I'm doing a bicep curl, pressing it up, coming down, down, okay? Uh, feet are about shoulder width apart, so you're nice and balanced on that. Okay, so our weights are close to us, so we're ready to go. Here, uh, it's one minute off. I think we're good to go. I'm just gonna move the camera just a little bit there. Okay, here we go. Second set, 60, 45, 30, 15. We've got this. Here we go, starting with those box jumps or box hop ups. I'll get there when I have to, I turn it on. Here we go, two, one, go. So up, down. Quiet feet, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hear that, right? Whoever's in your house, doesn't want to hear that. Or maybe if you want to wake your teenagers up that are probably maybe still sleeping. Good. Jumping up. Building power. Nice. Like I said, you need to modify it. You're here. Coming up. Three on each leg, right? Three on each leg to modify. Try to keep going. You only have 20 seconds left. Could be worse. I could have like a make you in a two or three foot box right now. Good. Two, one, rest it out. I also could make you do a squat with a curl and a press, but I'm letting your legs rest. Pick those weights up. Good. Curl, press. Curl. Press. My feet are shoulder width apart, so I'm nice and balanced. Curl press. Nice. Curl press. One minute here. Like I said, our rest periods from those plyos are doing strength for our upper body. So that's why I'm not utilizing any of our lower body, really, for these strength exercises. 
because I want them to rest, to be ready for the next round of the plyometrics on that bench. So we have 15 seconds left. Then the weights are down. Then we go back to those box hop-ups. Nice. You can easily do this on a stair as well, right? These hop-ups. Weights are down. Getting ready. On to our 45 second interval. We've done one minute already. Well done, you guys. Here we go. One, go. Up. So you go on your pace, but you keep moving all the time. Nice. This is how you build strength. So you're strong when you're that much stronger when you're out running, biking, playing sports, chasing after your kids. Quiet feet. Seven seconds left. One, woo. <laughs> Picking those weights up, curl, press. Five seconds. Go. You've got this. It's 45 seconds this time. Curling and pressing. Core is nice and tight and engaged. Good job. Pushing up. Exhale every time. My feet are shoulder width apart. I know it's hard to see because I've got my bench here. Curly and pressing. And after this, if you guys want a nice cardio this afternoon, Marty from Moose Jaw is teaching at three o'clock. So you can get a double workout today. That'd be awesome. Push it up. Exhaling each time. Nice. Weights are down. Going back into those box hop-ups. Only 30 seconds this time. Two, one, go. Up onto the bench or your box. Like I said, your step, your BOSU ball. That will throw some more stability into it as well, which is another great area to train. Up we go. Let's do it. You've got this. 10 seconds left. Good. Two, one. Rest it out. Okay. In two. That curl. Press. Here we go. Three seconds. Two, one. 30 seconds on that clock. You've got this. You've got this. You've already done a minute. You've already done 45 seconds. So what's 30? You can do that. Just tell yourself. Curling and pressing. Picking the groceries up, putting them in the cupboard up high so you don't sneak and have those munchies. So they're way up high on the cookie shell, cookie cupboard. I don't know, I don't have a cookie cupboard in my house. So two, one, put that weight down. This thing goes so fast. 15 seconds, hop ups, last round. One, go. Quiet feet, right? Quiet feet. Hope your calves feel this tomorrow. Oh, we're almost done already. Two, one. Nice. Last round of the curl presses. Last round of the curl presses, then we get a rest. Two, one, go. Curl, press. Like I said, if I didn't like you or if you wanted to, you could add a squat to it. But I just, my purpose here is I want those legs to rest. You're like, well, arrest, George. It would be me sitting down. What are you doing? <laughs> Two, one. Nice. Nice. Good. Get some water. I hope you're uh, feeling okay here. Just turning down the comments so I can see. Okay, hope everyone's doing okay. Get a sip of water. We're on our minute rest, and then we're going to go on to our next one. So, next one. We are... I can't have a workout with George without doing a burpee, right? That's right. So this one is gonna be whatever you're using, you're doing up down, you're just going down, you don't have to do a push-up. Up, 
jump up onto the step. Jump down, go out, jump up, jump up onto the step. If you're modifying this, you're going out, step in, step onto the step, right? If you're using a BOSU ball, you can do this too. Uh, you can use a step in your house, same with your te textbook or the barrack box, it all works. That's exercise one. Exercise two, we got our dumbbells. We can be lying on the floor or the bench. We're doing skull crushers. Okay, so I want your elbows in. They don't wander out. Think about your triceps hinging from the elbows straight up and down. I'm also not moving my arms like this. The upper arms are locked in position, okay? Here we go. Here we go. One minute on that clock. Once I start the timer, I'll get around to join you. Here we go. Two, one, go. So it's a burpee to a jump up. A modified burpee, you're not going all the way down, right? Jump down, you bring those feet in before you jump up, okay? Don't just go from, don't just go from jumping in right onto the bench. Have the feet jump in first. Just trying to change that level. So you're playing a sport and you fall down, you gotta get up and go. So working on the power to do that. One minute on the clock here, 30 seconds left. Quiet feet, right? Modification, it's a step, 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 right? Step, 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 step. That's your modification. My idea is I just want you to keep moving. Get that workout. Nice. Good, good. Grabbing those weights, you can lie on the floor. You can lie on your step, doesn't matter. Knees are bent. Exhale every time. Slow and controlled. If you find this difficult, you can also put one weight down, hold the other one right in the center, and do it as such. And then really focus on keeping your elbows in. These are obviously called skull crushers because if you miss, you're hitting your head. Slow and controlled. I see people try to rush through these all the time because they feel that they're hard and then their elbows go out. Don't let that happen. Slow and controlled. Work that muscle through its whole range of motion. Nice. Anyone else sweating yet? I am. It's going in my eye right now. That's okay. It means I'm working. Almost there. Slow and controlled. Oh, a minute feels like a long time. Two, one. Weights are down. One minute done. Okay, here we go. Burpee to the jump up. 45 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. Come every time before you jump up, right? Nice. Keep going, keep going. There's no reason to stop. It's, you can slow it down if you need to. Push yourself. A lot of people start to get uncomfortable in their workouts. I'm like, that's my sign to stop. No, unless it's a pain, like you pulled something, that's your sign that you're getting stronger and fitter. That's how you do it. You gotta push yourself into an uncomfortable zone. Nice. Okay, back to those skull crushers for 45 seconds. Back to those skull crushers. Two, one, go. If your knee, feet are on the floor, push that low back into the floor. Hinge from the elbow, push up, right? You see how my upper arm essentially stays stationary? Like I said again, you need to modify this because your entire exercise goes on. Put one weight down, both hands on the other one, and you keep pushing. But you don't stop just because you're tired, or you can let go and just clench the muscles and keep going. So we don't stop. Exhale every time. Nice. Two, one. Weights are down. On to our 30 seconds of those 
burpees with a hop up. Two, one, go. Out we go. Quiet feet, right? Nice. I wish I could see how you guys are doing. Wish I was actually there. Wish you were actually here. <laughs> I know here in Musha we got our gym all set up. Getting all set up to reopen for our military members to use. I look forward to seeing people in the building. Two, one, here we go. 30 seconds, coming up of those skull crushers. Oh, your triceps are gonna love you tomorrow. I love working triceps. You're like, Georgia, what exercise don't you love? I don't know. That's hard to say, depends on the day. Different days are different things. Keep those elbows in. Don't let them wander out to get assistance from other areas of the body. Low back, pressed in. You've got this. Two, one, Sit are down. All this up and down training too, that'll be good for your force test, right? Up and down, here we go. Go, it's only 15 seconds this time, that's sad. I really like this exercise. Good. Keep it up. You only have five seconds left here. Time goes so fast. Nice. 15 seconds. Skull crushers. Then we're done with that. I promise we're not going back through them all today. Go. Push up. Push up. Exhale. You've got this. You've got this. Two. One, rest. Woo. Nice. Good work. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? I hope that your heart rate's up. Hope your muscles are feeling warm. Hope you're feeling like you're getting a workout because that's my goal, right? I want you to get, get the most out of your time here. Okay, get that water. So, take a break uh, from the arms for a sec. Next one, we're doing a straddle step. So you're on either side of that, whatever apparatus you're using. Two options here, you're doing here, down to a squat, quiet feet, but I'm jumping, right? Or you're here, you're going over the, you can go, sorry, stepping up, stepping down, stepping up, stepping down. So foot up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, okay? Or it's two feet up, two feet down. Then we're at the end of our bench. We're here, sitting. You can do this on the floor too. It's either way here, doing either V ins or W's or like this. Okay, your choice. Okay, you can also let go and do it that way. Those are our two exercises for this one. Okay, 60 seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, just like the other ones. This is round four of our exercises. Here we go, you guys. Getting ready. I'm gonna get going after I turn the clock on, just like I always do. I'm sure you love when I look down and you just see my head, right? Here we go. Here we go. Two, one, go. Straddle jumps or straddle steps. So you're up. So it's fast. I use my arms to help me come up. Like I said, if you're modifying a step, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. But you don't stop moving. Okay, you don't stop moving. Nice. If you're using a BOSU ball, a little bit more stability required here. Good, only 25 seconds left. Nice. Quiet feet, right? Quiet feet. Keep smiling. We only have 10 seconds left. Nice. Rest it out. Remember, we don't need any weights. I'm giving you a break from your arms. We're down, doing leg pull-ins, right? Two, one, go. Do that leg pull-in, slow and controlled. You can also do the ups 
or hugs, whatever you want. Your way of modifying. If you want it hard, you can also go one leg, one leg. What, like a bicycle almost, okay? Exhale it every time. Slow and controlled. I'm doing hugs right now, but like I said, you can put your hands here for a little bit of balance. I like this exercise though, because it gets into your low back. A lot of people are so weak there, and then they get tired. So you gotta exercise that area too. Just because something gets tired doesn't mean you don't exercise it. Exhale every time, slow and controlled. We have 10 seconds left, then we're going back to those straddle jumps onto that bench for 45 seconds. One, good. Okay, here we go. Straddle jumps, straddle steps. Whatever you can do, I just want you to move, right? Two, one, go. Let's do this. Nice, you guys. My core is staying tight, staying engaged the whole time. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Exhale. Remember to breathe. Using my arms to help me here. 20 seconds left. Good job. You've got this. Good. Eight seconds. Keep going. Two. One. Rest it out. Okay. Going back onto the onto there. Leg pull-ins. V-ups. Hugs. Go. 45 seconds. Here we go. You can do hugs. Keeping that core engaged. Or V-ups. Nice. It's just 45 seconds this time. It's not a minute. We actually have 24 seconds left. Exhale each time. Slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. <sighs> Exhale every time. Good. Looking good. 10 seconds left here with a smile. Two, one. Good. Okay. Going back to those straddles. Two, one, go. So up and down. It's only 30 seconds this time, you guys. 30 seconds. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Building power. Therefore, strength in those legs. Great off-season training here for all you athletes who are waiting for your sports to start up again. Two, one, rest. Okay, 30 seconds, leg pull-ins. All the people are waiting for their sports to start. There. What do we do? This is great dry land training for it. Go. Work on ele other elements of your fitness so that when you get back to your sport of choice, you're that much stronger and fitter. And therefore, you can just focus on the moves you're doing in that sport. You don't have to worry about your fitness. Nice. It's only 30 seconds this time. Next is 15, that seems to go so fast. Two, one, rest it. Okay, 15 seconds of those straddle jumps. Make it fast. Two, one, go. Nice. Let's go. One. That was so fast. That was so fast. Okay. Here we go. Two. One. Go. The ups or knee pull ins. I don't care. I just want you working that core. And I. Working hard because I gave you a break from your arms on this one. Nice. Two, one. Nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. Get that water. I'm looking at my time. So 
so I know you guys get that proper rest. Okay. So this one, what you're gonna do, we're down, you're on your bench, okay? Hands or wherever on this. So you're, what we do is we go four mountain, two, three, four, stand up, jump over, come around, back, one, two, three, four, jump up, quiet feet, come around, okay? Keep doing that. I'm only gonna come around to the one side because my weights are down there, okay? So that's our, uh, First exercise. Second one, you're standing. You're gonna be doing a rear fly. My back is nice and flat, right? I'm not rounded. I'm here and I'm going out to the side. So what you can do, you can go one side, then the other side. Okay, thinking about your back, your shoulder blade, you're just gonna be pulling up. Okay, my feet are, and my feet are shoulder width apart. Slight softening of the knees. Core is nice and tight and engaged, okay? So make sure your weights are out of the way though, because you got to do the four mountain climbers jump. So one minute on the clock, 45, 30, 50, just like the other ones. Nicely done, you guys. Let's keep this up. Ready to go? I give you a minute and 20 seconds off, so I totally think you're ready. Here we go. I'll start once I uh, get my stopwatch going. Here we go. Two, one, go. So it's four mountain climbers. So one, two, three, four, standing up. Jumping over, coming around. If you're modifying, you can still do step, 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 and then a little hop, right? No excuse to stop. Here we go, keep going. One, two, three, four. Back around. You can switch sides that you're going to, but I've got my weights there, so I'm always gonna go to the same side. I recommend changing sides because you're always gonna wanna go to your good side and never train your other side. So if you're playing sports, you gotta be able to go to both ways, right? Two, three, four. Coming around. Two, three, four. Don't relax on those mountain climbers either, right? One, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Jump. Rest it out. Get those weights. I recommend if you're using two sets of weights, go with the lighter set for this, okay? One arm at a time. Back is flat. That's one up. One up. The reason I'm picking one over two is you might start swinging otherwise. And it might fatigue because a lot of people don't do exercises like this that work that rear delt. This all will help with our upper neck and back that get sore and tired from sitting in our desk all day. We're hunched over or on our phones. This is a great for guys flying. So when they strap into the jet, it doesn't hurt when they're strapped in nice and tight. And your back and neck doesn't get sore for that reason. There's other reasons it gets sore, but exhale, keep going. Softening of the knees. We have 10 seconds left. Make sure you put those weights out of the way, right? So you can do those jump overs after. Two, one, weights are down. Getting ready for those four mountain climbers. Jump over in four seconds. One, go. One, two, three, four. Jump up, quiet feet, right? One, two, three, four. Jump up, over. One, two, three, four. Jump up. Good job, you guys, keep it up. Keep it up. It's only 45 seconds. We actually have 25 seconds left here. Good job. Nicely done. Go, 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 go. There's no quit. There's no quit. Good. Nice. Three, four. Jump up. Over. Two, three, four. Up. Run. Okay, back to those weights. Sorry, I didn't say stop. I just assumed you're in here and you can hear my timer. My apologies. Here we go. One arm. Remember, my back is nice and flat. I'm not rounded like this. I hate when I see people doing that in class. Nice softening of the knees. Exhale. It's one side at a time. Try not to rotate up though, right? 
Back stays flat. Good job. Keep it up. Exhale, you're done. Going, you have 15 seconds left here. Good. Nicely done, you guys. Four seconds. Two, one. Weights are down. Get them out of the way for safety. So your area is clean. For those four mountain climbers, jump over. We're doing it 30 seconds this time. One, go. One, two, three, four. We're almost done this workout, you guys. Almost done this workout. So give it everything. Come on. Keep it going. Like I said, I recommend that if you can, you go off like different ways. Two, three, four. My weights are just in the way. Didn't want to take time out of the workout for you, from you to move my weights. Nice. 30 seconds of rear flies. These rear flies are so important. I think that everyone should put them in their workouts. Go, one arm. Like I said, because it helps open up that area that we round out so much now. Getting so weak. I love this exercise on the TRX as well. You do two at the same time, good. So we're only here 30 seconds, right? And then we have 15 seconds left. Of each one. Good. Two. One. Rest it out. Okay. Push it out of the way. One more round of those 15 seconds only. Four mountain climbers, hop up. Over. Go. One, two, three, four. Over. Come on back. Four. One, two, three, four. Fast jump over. Coming around quiet feet, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, that went so fast. Okay. Last round of those flies. Last round of those flies. Here we go. Two, one, go. One arm, then the other. One arm. Then they're good. Zone control. Good job. Two, one. Rest it out. Nicely done, you guys. Nicely done. Well done. Hope you guys are all feeling okay here. Good. So, I have one more round. One more round to go. Then the workout's done. Then the workout's done. So, for this one, we are here. Going to be utilizing your bench for your step. We're going to go half on each side, okay? So, what I'm doing is I'm here. I'm going to squat down. I'm going to come up, push out. Come down, but I push off this, the leg that's on the ground. Push out. Push out. Push out. So, I'm... Sorry, I'm pushing up the leg that's up top. I apologize. Out, it's just tapping, coming out, out. So I'm gonna go half one side. Then we're gonna go over. You can just turn around, but you've got to, I don't wanna see my back. Same thing on the other side. So I'll let you know the halfway, okay? That's exercise one. Exercise two. If you've got two sets of dumbbells, you can use that, if you like. We're gonna go in to deadlifts. So feet. Shoulder width apart, okay? I'm here, softening of the knees. I'm coming down low, but actually what I want you to do is you come up, row up, down, going down to the, towards the ground. See how my back stays nice and flat? Coming up, using my glutes, counting to pull up, and then upright row. So your upright row looks like that, okay? So I'm coming down. Don't start swinging. Control it through the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna get my weights out of the way at the end. This is our last grouping, you guys. This is it. So it's basically six minutes, then we're done. Here we go. Two, one, go. So it's one side for the first 30. Push up, out, get that kick out, out. Push up on that leg that's up on the step or the riser, whatever you're using. Push out, out. It's almost like doing a step up on a bench, right? Push out. So it's going to be 30 seconds right now on each side. 
Good. We have five seconds left on this side. Two, switching sides or turn around. Keep going. Nice. Keep it going. Push out. Let's do this. Staying strong. Using that leg. Push up. Push up. Nice. Feel those glutes. Get engaged. Two. One. Rest it out. Okay, getting ready. One minute of that deadlift. Upright row. Let's go. Feet are shoulders apart, right? Coming down. Nice and flat. Coming up. Row. Down. Do you see how I am not rushing through this? Exhale every time. Slow and controlled. Feel the glutes pulling you up. Hamstrings, engage them. Don't necessarily, don't think about the low back doing it all. 30 seconds. Elbows high on those upright rows. Throw it up. Nice work, you guys. Looking so strong. Feeling yourself get that much fitter. Every repetition, right? That's what I tell myself when I start to tire. I'm like, no, keep going. You're getting stronger. You're getting fitter. We only have five seconds left here in our one-minute interval. Good. Weights are down. 45 seconds. So 22, basically each side. Here we go. Two, one, go. Remember the kick out. Push out with that leg. Kick out. Nice. Push up with that leg. Kick out. Nicely done. Keep it up. Are you sad? Didn't do any lunges today? I guess in the warm up we did, right? Okay, getting ready. Switching sides. Same thing. Keep going. Push. Push. Let's do this. We're going to finish strong today. Nicely done. Seven seconds left here. Then we go back into that deadlift upright row. Nice. Okay, 45 seconds of that. Then we only have 30, then 15. Then the workout's done. Go. Do that deadlift, row. Deadlift, remember my back. I'll turn in a sec. Row. So nice and flat, right? Coming down, pulling up, and the glutes down. Tight softening of the knees, right? It's not a squat. You always want to squat down. Don't squat down. Row up. Halfway. Exhale. Every time. Your smile should be getting bigger and bigger. For those of you who are not really love and working out all the time, we're tired because the workout's almost done. Good. Okay, weights are down. 30 seconds of those, so it's only 15 seconds each side. We got this, got this, here we go. One, go, push out, push out. Nice, build that power, explode up. It also make it more difficult, but when you're on the top of the step to do a little jump, but I didn't want to get into that. Switching sides, keep going, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't take your time to switch. I know you're tired, but the workout's almost done. Stay the course. One, go, oh, nice. Okay, 30 seconds, deadlift, upright row. Keep those hands together, elbows high, right? One, go, down, row up. Down, row up, good. Back is flat. Core is tight and engaged. Exhale every time. You've got this. Rolling it up. Nicely done, you guys. So well done. Good. Three seconds left. Time for one more row. There we go. You guys, 
We only have 15 seconds of each of these exercises. Then we're done the workout. It makes me sad. Here we go. Two, one, go. Up. Push up, kick out. Get that adductor, adductor going. Come on. Switching sides. Go, 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 go. We only get like seven and a half seconds on each one of these. Woo. Okay, here we go. Deadlift, upright row. 15 seconds to go in this workout, then you are done. Going down. Row it up. No more plyometrics. Unless you want to rewind this and do it again. Or pick another class through the day. Excellent work, you guys. Excellent work. Nicely done. Let's just march on the spot for a second. Well done. A lot of plyometrics there to build some power. Power builds strength, makes us fitter, makes us better able to do our sport or activity of our choice with greater ease. Okay, so as we're there, just keep those feet moving for a second. Go side to side, take an arm across. Well done. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Do you like that? Using the old aerobics stuff. I'm sure I pulled out and they were like, oh my gosh, she's doing aerobics. Nope. <laughs> yeah. And this workout too, like I said, you can even use it. I've used it, like I've been away and I used like a textbook. Just have something as a guide and it does make that little bit of an uneven surface, right? Okay, over the top, stretch that tricep. Do you feel like your legs are tight and heavy right now? What I recommend what you do, get out for a walk, jog, maybe do, maybe do Marty's cardio class later, get oxygen back into them, flush the lactic acid out. so They're not sore tomorrow. Okay, opening up the chest, like this, right? Good, okay, standing tall, let's stretch our quadricep, have that leg tracking straight down. Right, not out here. You need to hold on to a wall, do so. I always find too, I tell people all the time, hold their belly button and that helps to centralize. Them. Good. Okay, switching legs, same thing on the other side, making sure that leg is tracking straight down. Is everyone smiling now because we're all done? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Good. Making sure it's tracking straight down. Okay. Standing tall, coming over to one side, both feet pointing forward, stretching that inside. Good job. So six rounds of about six minutes on each one, you guys. That's a great, uh, a great effort. Okay, other side, switching up, making sure to extend that so you can feel a pull in there, both feet tracking forward. Okay, now you're gonna use your bench, whatever you're using. Put one foot up on top of it, leaning forward and the hips don't round the spine. Coming down, stretching that hamstring. Good. Holding it there. Now I want you to rotate your foot on top of it and push forward. Nice. Feel it pull into your glute. Get ready to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, have that foot leaning forward. Don't round the spine, leaning forward from the hip. I got a slight bend in that other leg. I'm pushing down. I'm not pushing onto my leg though, okay? Just pushing down, trying to get a bit of a stretch into that hamstring. You can also do this from the ground if you like. It's a great hamstring stretch. Good, coming up, rotating forward. Looks good. Excellent, just give it a shake out. One big breath in. And out. 
excellent work today, you guys. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Thank you so much for working out with me. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. I thought I'm doing, um, Marty's doing a class today at three o'clock. We also have all our other CAF Connection, uh, the class that you can go on the Google Calendar and see. And uh, I will also be teaching a spin class at noon on uh, this Friday, I think, okay? So have a good day, you guys. Uh, enjoy, see you later. You write down serial numbers? <laughs>